Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 MT7927 wireless adapter is not working. So if the internet is not working or if you're facing any kind of internet issue, like if you're receiving error code 10, 43, 45, 56 or 39 in device manager, or you see a yellow triangle um, over here in front of uh, wireless adapter, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here so copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command Now, once you run all the command, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, after you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable for maybe one to two minutes from the computer. Then turn off your Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable or enable network adapter. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Expand network adapters over here. Now over here, you will see your Wi-Fi adapter so in your case it would be mediatek wi-fi 7 mt7925 you have to make a right click on this wireless card i'm showing you this is just an example i'm showing you with different card so make a right click on your wireless adapter and then click on disable device click on yes and then make a right click and then click on enable device and now you can try to connect and then check Still not working. The next step is to start WLAN auto config service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then find WLAN auto config service. Make a double click, set the startup type to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on start if highlighted or click on restart. And once this is done, now you can try to connect to your Wi-Fi and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Because when you perform network reset, it will restart your computer and then it will disconnect from your Wi-Fi. When After the system restart, when you try to connect, it will be asking for your password, your network password. So make sure that you have the password. To perform network reset, you can open Windows settings, go to network and internet and then scroll down go to advanced network settings over here and then you will see network reset option click on it and then click on reset now now are you sure you want to reset your network settings if you agree click on yes and during the uh, network reset your system will restart and after the system restart try to connect to your internet it will be asking for your password and then you can check still not working the next step is to reinstall network driver Make sure again you have the Wi-Fi password. You need the Wi-Fi password because after reinst during reinstall, it will be asking for your password. So make a right click on the device manager and then expand display adapter. And then make a right click on your wireless card. For you, it will be MediaTek. For me, it's Intel. So make a right click on MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 MT7927 and then click on uninstall device. Click on uninstall. Do not put a check on attempt to remove the driver from this device. Do not check over here because after that it may uh, need you to reinstall the driver. So now we are not reinstalling the driver. We just click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Just restart your computer. In my case, I'm not restarting right now. So just restart your computer. And after the system restart, when you try to connect to your internet, it will be asking for your password. 
So enter your password, your Wi-Fi password. And then you can check. Now the next step is to install wireless driver from your system manufacturer website. I understand you don't have the internet working right now. So you can use ethernet cable, connect ethernet cable and go online. If your, if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable, then you can try this. In case you don't have ethernet cable or computer does not have an ethernet port, in that case, you can use another computer with internet access and download the wireless driver to the USB flash drive or hard drive and use the USB flash drive or hard drive to install the wireless driver to the faulty computer. For example, I'm going to Dell website. So if whichever brand you have, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, you go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. This is just an example. S enter your model number or service tag, serial number, whatever. Uh, just make sure that you select uh, your product. Uh, so, or you can use detect my computer to you know, detect your computer. So you can, you can even manually select your uh, computer. So make sure that you select your computer. This is just an example. Now, once you select your computer, you can go to drivers and download page, find the drivers and download page where you can find all the drivers for your computer. And then you can just search for your driver, select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And then you can find for network driver. So check. So in my case, uh, here you can see the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi driver. So in your case, you will find your um, MediaTek uh, Wi-Fi 7MT7927 wireless card driver. So this is just an example. Now download the, uh, just download it, download the, this one, your driver. And then you have to copy this driver. So make a right click and then you can copy this file and then this is on another computer which has the internet access okay so because the current uh, computer does not have a ethernet uh, like internet if you have a ethernet cable you can use this computer if ethernet is working fine or else you can use another computer download the driver and then you can just transfer it to your external hard drive or flash drive so you can connect your flash drive or hard drive to the working computer and then you can just paste the wi-fi driver over here Wi-Fi driver 5 and once it is transferred once you have the wireless driver in your flash drive so I have connected my flash drive over here once you have it now you can connect this uh, you can eject this if you are on another computer you can eject this and then you can connect the wife uh, the flash drive to the computer which is on which internet is not working and then you can just make a double click and then you can install this uh, driver on your computer and after the uh, installation restart your computer and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi and then check it will be asking for your password now if nothing is working you can reset your computer to reset your computer before you reset uh, reset may result in data loss so create a backup before the reset so uh, whatever application and uh, data you have that may be, that may be lost so we have a two option like when you go to Windows uh, settings go to Windows update and then go to a, advanced option and then scroll down you will see recovery option and then you will see an option reset this pc click on reset pc and then you will see two option keep my files keep my files will remove application it will it will remove the application whichever application you, you have installed on your computer which will remove application settings but keeps your personal files it will keep your personal files but or remove everything will remove all your personal files and apps and settings so you can select the option which you want you can go for uh, whichever is working if uh, local reinstall is working you can try this or you can go for cloud download this will reinstall windows on your computer and then you have to start everything from scratch you have to set up a computer start everything from scratch and then you can connect to your wi-fi and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get your MediaTek Wi-Fi 7MT 7927 wireless card working and the internet issue should be resolved. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.